Imagine this turning your morning coffee money into a steady $2,900 a month. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of steady income dividend stocks. Ever wondered how some people make money while they sleep? We're breaking down the secrets from the covered call ETF's dance to the high-yield Riet's tango, and even rubbing elbows with the dividend aristocrats. I'll be your financial GPS, guiding you through strategies, risks, and the sweet taste of dividends. Now, here's the deal. Hit that subscribe button because this isn't your grandma's investment advice. We're here to decode the financial matrix, and I want you along for the ride. But before we dive in, answer me this. What would you do with an extra $2,900 every month? Let's chat in the comments. Let's get started by uncovering how dividend works, the first topic on steady income dividend stocks. Imagine you're part of a big pizza party. You own a slice of the pizza joint, and guess what? The pizza joint makes a profit. Now, instead of keeping all the extra dough for themselves, they decide to share it with you. That's your dividend. It's like getting a delicious slice of profit pie just for being a loyal pizza lover. Now, let's talk about how this magical dividend thing works. Meet our friend Dave. He is the guy with a dream. He wants $2,900 extra in his pocket every month. How can he achieve this? Well, Dave decides to become a shareholder in some cool companies. Becoming a shareholder is like owning a piece of the pie joint. So, these companies, let's call them the dividend chefs. They cook up some profits. And what do, what do they do with those profits? Instead of hoarding them in the chef's kitchen, they decide to share a portion of the earnings with their loyal shareholders. That's Dave. It's like he is getting a paycheck just for believing in and supporting those companies. But wait, there's more to this dividend magic. It's not just about the companies handing out cash. Sometimes they're feeling a bit creative. Picture this. The dividend chefs decide to throw in some extra shares of their company instead of cash. It's like getting extra slices of pizza rather than just cash. More ownership in the pizza joint. Now let's talk about the magic number, the dividend yield. It's like the interest rate on Dave's money tree. The higher the yield, the more Dave gets in return. It's the sweet spot that tells Dave how much bang he's getting for his investment buck. And guess what? Dave loves a high-yield money tree who wouldn't. So to sum it up, dividends are like a thank you card from the companies you believe in. You support them, they make profits, and they share the love with you. It's a win-win. Now let's follow our buddy Dave on this financial adventure as he turns his dream of $2,900 a month into a reality with the power of dividends. Dave Hey everyone, I'm Dave, your average guy with big dreams. Now that I've got the law on on dividends, I'm ready to rock this financial journey. I want an extra $2,900 in my pocket every month, and dividends seem like the golden ticket. So, armed with my trusty portfolio, I'm on a mission to make it happen. Think of it like this. I'm planting seeds in the financial garden. These seeds grow into money trees. And guess what those trees produce? Yep, dividends. It's like having my own orchard of money-making trees. And I get to enjoy the fruits, or should I say dividends, every month. Now, the plan is to pick companies that not only make killer pizzas, but also believe in sharing the pizza love with their shareholders. It's like teaming up with chefs who not only cook up tasty profits, but also slide a few extra slices my way. And when those dividends roll in, it's not just cash sometimes, it's more ownership in the pizza joint. So, here I am, a shareholder in the pizza business, watching my money trees grow and eagerly waiting for those dividend checks to hit my mailbox. It's not just about making money, it's about building a solid financial foundation, one dividend at a time. All right, now let's talk about three strategies to achieve. $2,900 per month when building steady income dividend stocks. Meet Dave, our financial hero on this journey. 
Picture Dave as your friendly neighbor, the guy who knows where all the good deals are and never misses a chance to turn a buck. Strategy number one, covered call ETFs. So here's how Dave kicked off his financial adventure. With covered call ETFs, Dave owned some trusty stocks, but instead of just sitting on them, he decided to rent them out, like a landlord for his stocks. How? By selling call options. It's like getting paid for letting someone else have a shot at buying his stocks. Let's break it down. Dave had 100 shares of stock X, each valued at $50. He decided to sell call options at $55 per share, giving someone else the right to buy his shares at that price. In return, he received a premium, let's say $2 per share. With 100 shares, that's a sweet $200 in his pocket. If the stock price stayed below $55, Dave kept the premium and his shares. If it went above $55, he sold his shares at a profit plus the premium. So every month, Dave repeated this process, generating $200 from each batch of options. Multiply that by 15 and voila, he raked in $2,900 a month, turning his stocks into a cash generating machine. Next strategy, high yield REITs, real estate investment trusts. Dave dived into the world of real estate without actually buying properties. Instead, he invested in real estate investment trusts, or REITs, which are like financial wizards that deal in real estate. Dave chose a REIT that promised a 7% annual yield. If he invested $50,000, that meant he'd get $3,500 a year in dividends, $50,000 by 7%. To hit his $2,900 per month goal, Dave divided this annual amount by 12. That's approximately $291 every month. With this strategy, Dave was dancing to the tune of $2,900 a month by smartly investing in high-yield REITs. It's like having a slice of the real estate pie without the hassle of being a landlord. The next strategy, dividend aristocrats. These are like the superheroes of the stock market, consistently delivering dividends. Dave decided to invest in companies with a history of increasing dividends. He knew that by holding on to these stocks, he'd not only get regular dividends, but also enjoy the sweet taste of growing payouts over time. Let's crunch the numbers. Dave invested $100,000 in a basket of dividend aristocrats with an average yield of 3.5%. That's an annual dividend income of $3,500. $100,000 by 3.5%. His monthly dividend income, around $291. $3,500 divided by 12. You see, by picking stable dividend-growing companies, Dave created a steady stream of income that added up to his $2,900 monthly goal. Now let's take a look into the captivating world of diversification in dividend investing. Picture this. Your investment portfolio is like a well-choreographed dance, and diversification is the secret sauce that keeps the rhythm flowing smoothly. We're not just talking about spreading your investments, we're talking about creating a fine, ansia l'orchestra that plays beautiful melodies of steady income. Ever heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? Well, that's the golden rule of diversification. Imagine if your entire portfolio depended on just one sector, let's say tech stocks. If the tech industry takes a hit, your financial ship could be in stormy waters. Diversification is like having different ships in your fleet, each navigating its own waters. Some might face rough seas, but others will sail smoothly, ensuring your overall journey remains steady. Legendary investor Warren Buffett once said, The stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. Now let's apply this wisdom to diversification. Patience is the key, my friends. Diversifying your portfolio helps you weather short-term storms, ensuring that your investments have time to grow and generate that steady income we're aiming for. 
All right, let me break it down simply. Diversification isn't just about having different stocks. It's about owning stocks from various sectors, like technology, healthcare, finance, and more. Each sector performs differently based on economic conditions. Think of it as having a mix of dance styles in your routine, a little salsa, a bit of hip-hop, and maybe some ballroom. When one style or sector takes the spotlight, the others can rest and recharge. Here's the kicker. Diversification isn't only about sectors. It's also about different types of investments. Mix in some bonds, sprinkle in a bit of real estate, and you've got yourself a diversified investment stew. Bonds, for instance, can act as the steady rhythm section, providing stability when the stock market is dancing to a chaotic beat. Remember, it's not just about having a diverse set of investments. It's about maintaining the right balance. Just like a dance routine needs a harmonious blend of moves, your portfolio needs the right mix of assets to keep the financial rhythm alive. Now, let's tie it back to our main act, steady income dividend stocks. Diversification is the secret sauce that ensures your dividend income stays steady, no matter what financial dance moves the market decides to throw. If one sector or investment type is having a rough performance, the others can step in and keep the income party alive. In the wise words of the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Diversification is your shield against the unknown. It's about knowing that while one part of your portfolio might face challenges, the others are there to carry the financial tune forward. Now let's talk about tax considerations for dividend income when creating steady income dividend stocks. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics like this, comment the word more so I know. Think of taxes as the seasoning in your financial stew. It's a necessity, but too much can spoil the dish. So, how does the tax game play out in the dividend world? It's like figuring out the steps to a dance. The tax tango, if you will. Picture this. When those dividend checks hit your mailbox, they come with their own set of tax rules. It's similar to receiving a menu, and each dish has its own unique price tag. Dividends, unlike your regular 9 to 5 income, get a special treatment with a different flavor of taxation. Imagine your regular income as a solid, predictable paycheck. You know exactly what's coming, and you can plan accordingly. Now, dividends are a bit like surprise bonuses. They're extra income. Uh, unexpected, but oh so welcome. However, here's the twist. Surprise bonuses come with a different tax rate. It's similar to getting a golden ticket to a tax-efficient chocolate factory. So, let's tangle with the tax rates. For most people, regular income gets taxed at their ordinary income tax rate, which can be a bit hefty. But dividends, my friend, often enjoy a lower tax rate, known as the Qualified Dividend Tax Rate. It's like catching a discount at the financial shopping mall. The government cuts you some slack for being a shareholder. Now, let's spice things up a bit more. Some dividends might not be so lucky and fall into the non-qualified category facing a higher tax rate. It's like paying full price for that fancy cup of coffee instead of enjoying a discount. But worry not. We'll explore strategies to keep more of your dividend dollars in your pocket. Here's where our financial superheroes come into play. Tax-advantaged accounts. Picture them as shields protecting your dividends from the tax dragon. These accounts, like IRAs or 401ks, offer a haven where your dividends can grow and compound without the constant nibbling of taxes. It's like having a secret vault where your money multiplies, undisturbed. Think of these tax-advantaged accounts as the VIP section at a concert. Your dividends get the VIP treatment, enjoying the show without the hassle of regular taxes. And when it's time to cash in, you'll likely face a lower tax bill. It's like having the best concert experience without breaking the bank. 
Now don't let the tax talk scare you away from the dividend dance floor. It's all about understanding the steps. And with a bit of knowledge, you can twirl through tax season like a seasoned pro. So, to sum it up, dividends come with their own set of tax moves, but with a few savvy steps and some strategic planning, you can make sure your dividends dance to a happy, tax-efficient tune. Now, let's put on our financial detective hats and dive into the fascinating world of identifying sustainable dividend payout ratios. Trust me, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Think of it like looking under the hood of a car to see if the engine is purring smoothly. So, what on earth is a dividend payout ratio? It's like the company's way of saying, here's how much of our profits we're sharing with you, our wonderful shareholders. Picture it as a slice of a delicious dividend pie. Now, we want that pie to be sustainable, right? We don't want a one-time treat. We want a bakery that keeps churning out those pies. That's where the ratio comes into play. The magic formula is pretty simple. Just take the total dividends a company pays and divide it by its net income. It's like figuring out how much of the pie is being sliced off. A lower ratio suggests the company is keeping more of its earnings, like a chef holding on to their secret recipe. But be cautious, too low a ratio might mean the company isn't sharing enough pie with its investors. On the flip side, a higher ratio might raise some eyebrows. It's like getting an oversized piece of pie, delightful at first, but you start wondering if there's enough pie left for the company to grow. We're after that sweet spot, a ratio that's just right like Goldilocks finding the perfect bowl of porridge. Now, you might be wondering, why does this ratio matter? Well, think of it as a crystal ball into the future of your dividends. A sustainable ratio means the company isn't stretching itself too thin, ensuring those dividends keep flowing like a steady stream. It's like having a reliable friend who always comes through when you need them. Now let's bring our imaginary friend, the one on the journey to $2,900 a month with steady income dividend stocks into the picture. Imagine they're at a financial crossroads, trying to decide which companies to invest in. Our friend wants companies that not only pay dividends, but do it in a way that won't leave them high and dry. So they whip out their financial magnifying glass and start examining the dividend payout ratios of the companies on their radar. It's like comparing apples to oranges, but in a financial sense. They're on the lookout for ratios that are consistent, not jumping around like a yo-yo. That stability is the key to a reliable income. Our friend digs a bit deeper, checking if these companies have a history of increasing dividends. It's like making sure the bakery not only bakes delicious pies, but is also working on new flavors. A growing dividend is a sign that the company is flourishing, and our friend is all about securing a future where their income keeps growing too. But wait, there's more to the story. Our friend isn't just satisfied with the numbers. They want to know the company's story. It's like reading reviews before trying out a new restaurant. Are they committed to sharing the pie with their investors? Do they have a solid business plan or are they just playing with their food? As our friend navigates the financial landscape, they spot a company with a sustainable dividend payout ratio, a history of growth, and a promising future. It's like finding the golden ticket to a world of financial stability. They decide to add this company to their portfolio, confident that the dividends will keep rolling in month after month. So. Identifying sustainable dividend payout ratios is like picking the ripest fruit from the tree. Our imaginary friend knows that a well-balanced ratio is the secret ingredient to a dividend portfolio that stands the test of time. Now, let's talk about dividend growth investing for long-term stability. The next topic on steady income dividend stocks. Picture this, you invest in companies not just for the dividends they pay now, but for the ones that keep growing over time. It's like having a friend who insists on buying you a bigger birthday gift each year. Who wouldn't love that? So why is this strategy so cool? 
Well, it's all about compounding, the financial wizardry of turning small, regular dividends into a substantial income stream. It's like the snowball effect, but with money. You see, when a company increases its dividends, you're not just getting more money, you're getting more money on the money you already got. It's a beautiful cycle that can turn your initial investment into a financial powerhouse. Now, let me introduce you to some champions of the dividend growth investing game. Think of these companies as the marathon runners of the stock market, steady, consistent, and always moving forward. One classic example is Procter & App Gamble, the guys behind your favorite household brands. They've been increasing their dividends for decades, making them a rock-solid choice for long-term stability. But it's not just about the big players. There are plenty of companies out there, both big and small, with a track record of growing dividends. It's like finding hidden gims in the stock market jungle. And guess what? As these companies thrive and their dividends grow, so does your potential for a oh, stable, long-term income. Now let's talk about strategy. How do you implement this magical dividend growth investing in your own financial kingdom? First, identify companies with a history of increasing dividends. Look for those that have we weathered economic storms and still manage to reward their shareholders with growing dividends. It's like choosing seeds for your money tree. You want the ones that have proven they can withstand different seasons. Next, think long term. Dividend growth investing is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Choose companies that have a vision for the future, a plan for sustainable growth. It's like picking companions for a cross-country road trip. You want the ones with a reliable map and a tank full of gas. Now here's the fun part, patience. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a flourishing dividend growth portfolio. You might not see massive returns overnight, but over the years, the power of compounding will work its magic. It's like planting a tree, you water it, nurture it, and one day it becomes a towering presence in your financial garden. But stay vigilant, keep an eye on your investments, monitor the companies in your portfolio, and make adjustments when needed. The financial landscape is always changing, and you want to ensure your money tree continues to thrive. In a nutshell, dividend growth investing is like tending to a garden. You plant the right seeds, give them time to grow, and enjoy the fruits, or in this case, dividends of your labor. It's a strategy that rewards patience, strategic thinking, and a long-term vision. So get ready to watch your money tree grow and let the dividends pave the way for your financial future. All right, let's talk about economic and market conditions impact on dividend stocks. Our next topic on steady income dividend stocks. You see, the economic conditions are the big players in this game. Imagine them as the orchestra conductor of your investment symphony. Interest rates, inflation, and economic cycles, they're the instruments and their tunes can either be music to your ears or a bit of a cacophony. Let's start with interest rates. Think of them as the DJ controlling the rhythm of the market dance floor. When interest rates are low, it's party time for dividend stocks. Companies can borrow money cheaply, invest in growth, and still have enough left in the piggy bank to dish out dividends. But when interest rates start to climb upwards, it can hit dividend stocks like a sudden rainstorm at a picnic. Borrowing becomes pricier, and companies might have to tighten their belts, affecting those precious dividends. Now, inflation. The silent ninja stealing purchasing power. When inflation is on the rise, your dollars might start feeling a bit deflated. But fear not. Dividend stocks can be your financial superheroes here. See, they have this magical ability to potentially outpace inflation keeping your purchasing power from turning into a pumpkin at midnight. And let's not forget economic cycles, the ups and downs that make the financial world go round. It's like a roller coaster, and we're all strapped in for the ride. During economic expansions, companies are thriving, profits are soaring, and dividends are flowing like a chocolate fountain at a party. But here's the twist. During economic contractions, it's a bit like the morning after that wild party, things can get a bit rough. 
Companies might tighten their belts, and dividends might take a temporary hit. So, how do you navigate this economic roller coaster without losing your financial lunch? Diversification is your secret weapon. It's like having a diverse squad of investments that can handle different economic weather conditions. If one sector is having a rainy day, another might be basking in sunshine. Spread your investments across sectors, industries, and market caps. It's like having an umbrella, sunscreen, and a winter coat all in one. But wait, there's more. Market conditions also play a pivotal role in the dividend dance. Picture the market as a crowded dance floor. Sometimes it's a calm waltz, and other times it's a full-on disco frenzy. During a bull market when everyone's in high spirits, dividend stocks can shine. Companies are thriving and investors are cheering. It's like the music is playing and everyone's grooving. Now flip the coin to a bear market, the grumpy cousin of the bull market. It's like the dance floor cleared out and the lights dimmed. During these times, even solid dividend paying stocks might face some challenges. Prices can dip and it might feel like the music stopped. So, what's the game plan? Well, my friends, it's all about staying adaptable. Keep an eye on the economic forecast. Pay attention to interest rates, inflation, and the market dance moves. If the winds of change start blowing, adjust your investment playlist accordingly. Understanding the impact of economic and market conditions on dividend stocks is like learning the steps to a complex dance. Stay informed, diversify your portfolio, and remember, the dance floor might have twists and turns, but with the right moves, you can still enjoy the music of dividends even in a changing tune. All right, let's talk about setting realistic expectations and managing risks on steady income dividend stocks. Imagine this part as your financial safety net, making sure you don't take a leap without looking. So first things first, setting realistic expectations. You wouldn't expect a garden to bloom overnight, right? Well, your dividend income garden is no different. It takes time for those dividends to grow and multiply. Don't get me wrong, they will grow, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. Picture this, you're planting seeds today and in a few seasons, you'll have a flourishing dividend garden. The key here is patience. Don't expect the moon and the stars right away. Instead, think of your dividends as little sprouts that need time, water, and a bit of sunshine to turn into financial giants. Now let's talk risks. Every financial journey has its bumps, and the world of dividends is no exception. But fear not, my financial friend, for we have the power of risk management on our side. Think of risk as that mischievous cousin who likes to play pranks. You can't eliminate them entirely, but you sure can minimize their impact. One way to do that is by diversifying your investment portfolio. Remember the buffet we talked about earlier? Well, it's like having different dishes on your plate. If one doesn't taste quite right, the others might make up for it. Now, I know it's tempting to put all your money on that one stock you believe will skyrocket, but trust me, that's a risky game. It's like putting all your eggs in one basket. If it falls, you're in for a mess. Instead, spread those eggs or investments across different baskets or stocks. This way, if one basket takes a tumble, the others are still holding strong. Warren Buffett once said, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Wise words, right? So, know what you're getting into, research, understand, and make informed decisions. It's like studying for a test. The more you know, the better you'll perform. Now, let's talk about the emotional roller coaster that is the stock market. It's like a wild theme park ride, exhilarating, but it can also make your stomach churn. The key here is to stay cool, calm, and collected. Don't let the market's ups and downs dictate your emotions. Remember, the stock market is like the weather, unpredictable. You can't control it, but you can control how you react. If you're losing sleep over market fluctuations, you might need to reassess your strategy. It's all about finding that sweet spot between risk and reward, like balancing on a financial tightrope. And speaking of balance, 
Let's talk about not putting all your financial eggs in the investment basket. Life happens, emergencies pop up, and you don't want to cash out your entire portfolio in a panic. Having a financial cushion. An emergency fund is like having a superhero cape in times of trouble. It gives you the confidence to face unexpected challenges without jeopardizing your long-term financial goals. In a nutshell, setting realistic expectations is like preparing for a long hike. You know it's going to be challenging, but with the right gear and mindset, you'll conquer those peaks. And managing risks? It's like having a financial GPS. It might not eliminate all detours, but it'll guide you safely to your destination. And there you have it, fellow money enthusiasts. We've covered everything from the basics of dividends to crafting a strategy that can fetch you a cool $2,900 a month. Remember, financial success is a journey, not a sprint. So arm yourself with knowledge Diversify your investments and let those dividends work their magic. Now, if you are interested, get any audiobook of your choice for free using the link below the video. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. The value of investments can fluctuate and past performance is not indicative of future results. Always assess your risk tolerance and investment goals before allocating your capital. I recommend you watch the next video in our series. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.